What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video. Today, we are diving into round number two of the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill. And in round number one, Ryan fought. It was an up and down round, made a lot of mistakes on the greens, but overall battled back to minus three. Right now, heading into the second round, we are teeing off at 11.42 in the morning. We are tied for 43rd place. So we are within the cut line now, and our goal today is to shoot three under or better. We're going to set the same goal. If we do better, hey, that's great. Uh, but I think that's a good goal because we are diving into high winds again. It's going to be 10 to 15 miles per hour for the second time. But Ryan Gamer and Jerry the Caddy were out on the practice facility till nightfall last night just working on putting working on all the shots and then also they studied caddy books the whole night uh, so did they get enough rest we will see but it is time the conditions 10 to 15 miles per hour wind we are sitting with average fairway and green firmness tournament first cut and second cut flink those are the conditions for the day let's go ahead and dive on in EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational, presented by MasterCard. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. The Pepperdine man, Sahith Tagala, is your leader. He's at nine under. As for our featured golfer, that current score is right on the number right now in terms of making the cut and playing the weekend. Hey, I'm not afraid. We got this. We know what to do. Just got to play our game. All right. Projected cut line is minus three right now. We are tied 43rd place. Plenty of golf left. Put one in the fairway on hole number one. Be on our way. Thank you all so much for all the support on this series. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And you can check the full playlist in the description. If you're looking for more episodes in this series. It's been a blast so far. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. He's got 142 yards to the front, 155 to the hole sitting in the front left hole location all right we could do this 155 this wind is ripping though gonna go with the knockdown shot in the wind I, I tend to hit it a lot in the wind when the distance works out and i think this distance could work out pretty well shot off to the right of the dispersion zone shot was okay hey we'll take it though we could put this in. All right. I don't think we actually. The question is, do we putt or chip this? I think we actually putt this. Am I crazy to think that? I mean, it's 2.2 degrees all above the feet. It's steady uphill. I think we can attack this pin. I mean, this pin. I think we can attack this whole location. I don't, we don't have to worry about it rolling too far. I actually think this is a good call. We'll find out quickly. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I don't think we okay, would have made it with the chip. A bit further out to the right. I still think that was a good decision. So ball is below the feet. It looks like it's a steady left to right. We kind of just saw the break. Not much to it. There we go. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And he'll stay at minus three. Okay, Reavy is at the top along with Streb. There we are sitting minus three. We can come. I mean, we honestly can dive back into this tournament. We have a lot of strokes to gain, but a lot of golf left to play. 245 middle of the green pin location this is downhill a lot we're probably looking at like 25 feet <laughs> the finesse shot no way we get it to stick even in this wind 
Ah, uh, it's worth a shot though. This will probably land too short. I think it's gotta be three finesse. Not a big fan of this shot, but I don't know what else to hit. Short swinged it. Not sure where that came from. The wind was up at the 15 miles per hour mark. Probably should have went and with the knockdown. Be in the short grass, just off to the left. I think spinner's the way to go. Full back spin. The wind is going to affect it a little bit, but not much really at all. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a golf shot. Ball is above the feet, steady right to left. There we go. That finished off for par here at the second. That hole is not on my and list of birdie holes. Right where he is. Plenty of golf left. Let's stay focused. Get your wood times here, ready, everybody. Still in full swing, wood times. Obviously, but Frank, I think all of our golfers competing this weekend may have one eye toward next week: the big purse, the island green, the full field. It is the flagship event on the PGA Tour. The players. Just a couple of hours north. Ryan's right home tournament PC and home Sawgrass. course as well. Rich, PC when, uh, you've got a name that's called The Players. I think that says it all. And that's the one they want to win. Oh, this is starting left. There's this no might shot. need to land softly. And that will be in with the Gators as it is into this big circular lake. It's 15 miles per hour wind blowing towards the fairway. And you're telling me that ball did not blow back into the fairway? I disagree with that, but it is what it is. Maybe the wind had died down as playing it as 15, but, huh. Okay, so the drop taken, and that will set up what's gonna be his third now. This hole this gets me every four. time. We hit it in the water, if you all remember, in round number one as well, but it was on the second shot. We can put this close in par. We have 185 left to the flag. The wind has died down a bit so yeah we can see it now it's not yellow anymore it's between white and yellow probably about 10 to 11 miles per hour probably 10. probably still looking at the knockdown i want to aim this about 10 yards past loft as well come on ryan you know what to do We're getting unlucky with these dispersion zones. Have y'all noticed that? That shot off to the left of the zone. On oh, a second ball in the water here at three, there's something about this lake that just seems to draw balls toward it. That isn't that the truth. <laughs> something about this lake that has a magnet for Ryan on any golf game. EGA 2K23 has found it quite a bit. I think yeah, they'll end up naming really that shot. lake after that Ryan nice here in the future. Slope to work within the bunker always makes it an easier shot, able to take advantage of it. And that one in for hey. Bogey here at the third. Bogey's going to happen. Gonna drop him you know, to and move on. Under. Can't change the past. We can help shape the future. That's that's what we're going to do. Play our game. We got this. Getting unlucky with the shot dispersions this, this round. They're really going the all right over side. the place. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Got good this. balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Uh, we can't get there in two, so let's just put it in the fairway. I still cannot believe, like, look how much that ball was affected. That drive was not affected at all earlier. Good second shot. That last what? bounce, a little unlucky, but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this bar five. It's a good question on what we hit here. I. Wow, this is a tough, tough range, honestly. A tough, tough range. I think it's got to be the pitch shot. Overswung by a mile. We had this is exactly what happened around one. That hole number three got us, but we just have to stay focused, play our game. Gonna do chip, hole, 
Or backspin on it. Or loft. Get in. Get in. Perfect line. I think you'll be gotta fairly hit pleased it. with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. So, so good indeed, but just barely missed. That was a okay, weird putting animation. Did you all see that? What? Par here at four. <laughs> Ryan, mm -hmm. can you settle two. down out there? Somebody needs to settle Ryan down. He's doing crazy stuff out there. <laughs> all right, we got this. We can birdie this hole. We can birdie this hole. I think we just work to send this ball over the bunker. I do think we have to go for the, the shorter shot here. You have to ask yourself the question. You already know what I'm going to say. You want to win or do you want to lose? Right? I want to yeah, win. This is not the biggest of fairways, so that is a good shot here at five. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. I think we've got to go spinner here. It's it's Ryan's favorite shot. Jerry always approves the spinner shot for Ryan. Fast it. It was it was a solid shot. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday. Don't forget. Ryan's gonna want that one back though. He's going to want that one back. We are below the cut line right now. It's it's going to move, though. I don't think it's going to stay three under. All is above the feet. Steady right to left putt. It's up, uphill slightly. These are the putt that's Ryan, that Ryan has made his whole PGA Tour career. One time. One time. You Come on. You. What a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Hey, get your coffee whenever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Play the weekend as currently he's hovering right around the cut line. That's how you play. That's how you play. Keep it up. All right. You already know what we're doing. Where's that bunker? Aiming like right here. I don't even know what to do here, honestly. I think... Yeah, I think we've got to aim right at that bunker. And then send it. Be the one. I think we missed this fairway last this time. This one started up the right side. Just barely. It's tough to risk the water, though. Into the rough on the right side of this fairway, so understandably not wanting to risk it being too close to the lake. Yeah. 210 to that which bunker is that so 210 to this bunker right here right so that's where we want to go around that way this is a tough live this is actually the worst live we've seen i think this is the worst live i've seen in this game 63 72 i've never seen a really a bad lie in the rough in this game well with the six iron yeah and that's where you need might to be, be the worst one i've seen though the fairway on this par five all right, 114 yards, steady wind. I think we're going to go with the finesse shot here. It's got to be the 54 degree wedge, full loft. The wind is probably going to add about six to 10 yards. Let's go with 10. Just hope it's the one. Wow, it, it, no, never mind. The wind was at like 15. All right. Well, not super close, you learn. but uh, safely on the green. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. It would be very easy to underread this putt. There is break on it from left to right, particularly as it nears the hole. That's what I love about this game and true simulation settings, right? There's so much stuff you have to learn between the round yet not only the greens green speeds you have to learn like the wind is it is it do, does it seem to be playing lower right now does it seem to be playing on the higher part of the 10 to 15 range it, it's a constant battle and I, I think this game does so true sim so well i love this game 2.0 degrees below the ball steady left to right i think we found the settings that we want 
gonna be a fight. Get in. That's a good read. That's a good read. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Yeah, I'd call it an acceptable effort too. This looks straight in. Safely in for par here at the sixth. This front is extremely challenging. I mean, this is insane. We are sitting five strokes back, but wow, this is tough. <laughs> This is my nemesis, this golf course. One of my nemesis. I mean, Bay Hill, East Lake, 195. I think we've got to go finesse shot. Can we, we knock down, actually? I think knock down's the way to go. Knock down hybrid, full loft. No, it's, it's not going to stick on the green, though. We have to respect the pin. I think we're just going to go with the normal finesse five iron. And just put it on somewhere like the middle of the green. We'll attack it a little bit here. But. I don't think we can get too aggressive on this pin honestly. Or hold that thought. Or. Okay not taking any chances there. A good safe play in the middle portion of the green. Okay so the wind is definitely at more of the lower range. Probably 11 mile an hour. So steady downhill putt. Ball is above the feet, 0.7 degrees. Looks like a steady right to left putt. One time. Ooh, it, did you all see there. that? It that broke to the right at the end. If it would have continued breaking, but it, there was a double break, which is really tough to read. Obviously tough to read in this game, but it, even tough to read in real life as well. That we'll one finished it. off. It'll be a par here at seven. Hey, we are even here, Maybe which is better than last where he is. last round. I cannot wait for Sawgrass next week. I know we need to focus on this tournament. Sawgrass, my favorite course, Ride Gamer's home course, home tournament, where he was born and raised. That is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Ryan has never he birdied this hole of the in his career. As he sets for a second. As remember, he played here as an amateur as well. Never birdied this hole. He's birdied it in 2K23 and 2K21. So it has been done. 112. I guess that would have been in 2K23. I don't think Bay Hill. Was Bay Hill in PGA 2K21? I really don't know. I know it's in 2K23. I can't remember. I think we send this. I think it was in both. This one's looking good. That's perfect. That is gorgeous. I know it's the second shot golf course, but what an honest shot. I don't care. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot. Read the wind perfect. New is 11, 12 mile an hour. Perfect calculation. Sent it. You'll love to see it. We got to thank Jerry. He's an incredible caddy. Come a long way. Okay. It says ball is 1.0 degrees above the feet. It does not look like that at all. If that's true, there's this putt has a lot of break on it. That can't be right, can it? It was. Wow. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. And if I did not have the day, four under overall. That number. I would never have read break there and I would have missed that putt. Did you all see that as that much break? Wow. Usually you can see the slopes really well in this game. But that slope, I just, yeah, I did not see that much. Maybe it was just my eyes. Maybe you all could see it. You have to let me know in a comment. What hole was that? I've seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that hole eight. up. Get it up there quickly. Get let the me know hole eight. It's what you all thought. how far you can hit it. You think that? You read that much break? Okay, very similar shot to what we just had. 
if we hit this 95 full loft, the wind is going to add about 12 yards to it, maybe 10. It's going to be too short, but honestly, take off a little bit loft. This should fly about 102. It's going to bounce up. This might be the club if the wind is still the same. It's not. It won't be. Okay, so wind had died down no, a good bit. Shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Still a good shot. 12 feet still to go. It looks almost dead straight. I mean, if anything, there's slight left to right. Gotta take a look at it from the other side. Oh, well, people have been asking how to use the camera. So you hit the Y button on Xbox controller, triangle on PlayStation. It's gonna default to the high camera, like right here. For me, I click the left thumbstick in, so L3. Some of you might have to click in R3. But I click in left stick until I get to the low one. And then I use my left stick to move around. But the big thing you need to do is use the D-pad to change your distance. But keep in mind, that is changing your aim distance. That's how you look around. Don't forget to reset afterwards and repick your distance. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go left edge. This putt's not breaking much at all. Yes, it was straight oh, in, actually. Never in doubt. What a great putt that is. Back to back birdies. Ninth, Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Y'all see that? Front side. Leader shot minus eight today. No, wait. Did that say they were minus eight through 12? Oh, my goodness. Russell Henley is minus eight through 12. <laughs> okay. All right, we got some work to do. We're in 23rd place, though. Russell's playing some golf. This is what we wanted, though. We want this battle. At least I do. I want the fight. Don't get me wrong. I like winning by 15 strokes. <laughs> Even though last tournament was an epic finale. Oh, well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to Ryan split Ryan Gamer, there Jason Day. Around the ball, but, that was uh, awesome. Still not too bad. 120 uphill quite a bit. It's probably uphill 20 feet or so. So it's going to... I need to add about 7 yards to the shot. Going to go with the normal finesse. Aim at like 27 yards, 26. A little bit of loft on it. Actually take off the loft. The question is, how much is the wind going to play? This hit big time. Over 5% miss. You live and you learn. I always say this. This game will humble you quickly. It will. It will humble you fast. At the minute you think you've got it. Increase the difficulty. Trust me. And we were already on the max 100 AI difficulty, right? But take off those green grids. Make it full true sim. And wow, it'll humble you very quickly when you play courses like this. That is just gorgeous. And this will be a five-foot putt here. All is above the feet. Up the slope. It's a steady right to left putt. Gonna go right on the right edge. Get aggressive. Beautiful. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. We are playing and some great golf now. Five under. 24th place. Hindley 11 under. What an insane second day. Hey, Ryan, don't hit this in the water. Please. We got the right side of the dispersion zone, which is exactly what we wanted there. We get the left. We probably wouldn't have been in the water. We'll do just fine. Wait, is this the hole we hit in the water last time? Oh, it was. The fairway noted, this is it wasn't three. Is that it was this one. 143 yards to the hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. Okay. You all already know what we're going to do. We are not messing with this golf hole. You got to respect it. You got to respect the golf course. And I respect this golf hole. 
I am not risking that water at all. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Ball is above the feet. A steady right to left putt. It's not really down. It's elevation's not a big effect. It's it's the break though. It's gonna break quite a bit. Wow, called it, but it's nope, hard to play it out that much. And that'll be short as well. But hey, this is going to be a par and a hole. I think we doubled. So that yeah, I think we doubled. Four par here at eleven. If we have and a very remain, birdieable hole right next. There he is. Birdieable is a word. Trust me. Look it up. You may have to look it up in the Ryan Gamer Dictionary. I believe those are still... You can still find those. <laughs> what a drive. I knew to carry that bunker used course knowledge Beautiful. from Nip round over. one, right? I knew we could carry it. Beautiful. Do we attack this? 254 to the front. It's a front pin location. I think the answer is, is yes. I think we attack this. There's going to be a wide range on this approach, so the shot dispersion could go anywhere, but I still think this is the right decision. We have a lot of strokes to gain. We went to the right on it. The wind has just died that down big time. second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Yeah, it's got to be the pick really shot. Need a birdie right now. We do need a birdie bad. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but that bunker did surface with birdie still in play. I was playing the uphill lie and uphill and also that the bunker would have affected that a little bit more, but it didn't. And the wind kind of seemed like it grabbed that ball. Live and you learn. It looks like to me, so the ball is above the feet right away, but then it looks like it kind of flattens out and may even break the other way towards the end. Got to take a look from the other side, but it might be a double breaker. It, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, it's it's so hard to tell. We have to make a decision, though. Ryan studied the caddy book all night. Says double break. Here we go. Crusher instincts, right? Double break. We just barely misread it. By the hole, but he could not get it to go in. It didn't break enough at the beginning. I thought it would break a little bit more before it changed. We read it. We read it good. We had the right idea, just a little bit off. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. You hate to escape and that golf hole at the par. Right where he is. 25th place, though. Let's keep climbing. We got this. Play the game the way it's meant to be played, right? Got to go hybrid here. Don't want to risk putting it into the pond. I don't know about you all, but I don't want to go swimming. Ryan's a been a little bit sore this week. Left here for his second. You all that don't know this, Ryan is a multi-sport athlete on the channel. He had a busy week in his sports. So he had the NBA All-Star game that he just played in. And then the day after that, had a epic WWE tournament. Epic he, four matches in that same video right before he dove into this tournament on the next week. So, I mean, it makes sense why he's a little bit sore out there, but he's still playing great golf. Those of you that don't know, Ryan is a multi-sport athlete. Five ongoing. Three modes at the same time. NBA 2K23. WWE 2K23. It will be the show 23. EGA 2K23. And, of course, this series right here. The question is... I don't even know. Got to play it pretty safe. Can't risk the water. That's a safe shot and a good shot. 
Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. It's this is flat. This is rel this I think this is flat the whole way. One time, please. Drop your one times, everybody. Say them out loud, type them in a comment. You know what to do. Yes, yeah, straight in. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. That's a momentum and shifter. That could be an important one as he'll move a couple shots. Cheers, clear everybody. We are six line. strokes back here at Bay Hill. What a battle it's going to be on the weekend. We are in the cut by two, two strokes. Look at this field. Four. Minus four. We are in 12th place, but if we drop one stroke, we probably drop to like 30th. Wow. Play the game the way it's meant to be played, right? Finesse. Nine hybrid, full loft. Almost hit the bird. <laughs> Did you all see that? I was focused. Come on. I didn't think we were going to hold that ball at all. Ryan was thinking about taking one of the high, a few of the hybrids out of his bag, but Jerry, Jerry put his foot down. He said, you are on a six tournament win streak right now. You are not changing your golf bag. I am not changing anything. So Jerry said no. So maybe next tournament we'll see. But I mean, Jerry's been a great caddy. We have to trust the caddy, right? I'm going to pitch this actually. Get in. Get in. <laughs> what a shot. When you're filling it, you're filling it, right? You don't see me pull out the pitch shot too oh, much, but there. it is a par here at 14. Beautiful. And he'll remain. Look at Henley. At like, par. what are you gonna do? Henley's pulling a Ryan Gamer. I mean, really though. They call it a Ryan Gamer now in the PGA Tour. If y'all didn't know that. Sending it. Oh, well, he's overcooked it. That is well left. Uh, I blame Jerry for marking the caddy book wrong. Yeah, uh, so, Jerry, be sure you make that a little more clear next time. Over there. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15. I Just still well think we can put this on the green. Out of that rough. Yeah, I think we can put this on the green. Get up. Get up. Oh, beautiful, though. And this is not going to get there, but it will find a safe spot between the two front bunkers here at 15. Question is, I think it's too too much break here to putt. We'll take a look. Texas Wedge. Of the feet. Steady right to left. And then it comes back. The other option is the chip. And then we have the flop shot. And pitch shot. I think we're doing it again. We may regret this. No, we're not. Jerry, Tot Ryan, Texas Wedge, Ryan's favorite club, favorite shot, besides the spinner. And if Jerry, it's Tot Ryan, one of the, he's one of the best Texas Wedge players in the business. We've got to do it. Going to be right to left and then left to right towards the end. Tough thing is to get the speed right because you can see it's well uphill. We're putting from the fairway as well. One time. Oh, wow, Jerry is a great caddy, right? What a okay, putt. Okay, that's probably about what you'd expect from a wedge. So that's in the acceptable range. That was an incredible. We just barely misread it, like by a centimeter. Ball is above the feed. To me, it looks straight in. If anything, a little bit right to left, but not much. That was a great Texas wedge. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll remain right where I he is. I actually think that's one of the funnest shots to hit in the game is the Texas wedge. 
Okay. Just gotta put this in the fairway, Ryan. One time. Shot dispersion just straight off to the right. We can't buy a right dispersion this round, can we? Be a little disappointed with that. Yeah, I'm disappointed. It in the rough, and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Oh, it's a great lie. This is a great lie in this par five. Yeah, water to the left, but we play it safe to the right side. If we carry that bunker, 151, play it safe. This is the way to go. It's got to be the normal approach. Just, just send it up there and just give herself a chance, right? No need to get fancy, I don't think. Why risk the water? Well. Okay, job well done, Kay. Frank. You know when you play this hole, oh. you're playing it like a par four, even though it's a par yeah. five. You need to be home in two. You certainly do, Rich. This hole isn't as long as some par fives, but when you consider water and play here, water and play at 17 and 18, this is a key shot. Are you, are you all looking what I'm looking at right now? A casual 64 foot downhill, multiple feet, steady left to right. And if we miss this, it could roll all the way down into the water. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's uh this is interesting. We gotta play this super safe though. Like at the end of the day, you don't want to be in the water, right? You'd rather be short than far. Yeah, we want to make it, but it, do your best. Played it safe. Pretty yeah, solid read, of these honestly. Long putts like that come up short. It's just hard mentally to hit the ball much firmer. Yeah, exactly. I agree. If we hit it much firmer than that, I mean, you all see that slope there, like from this position. It's it's off the green into the water. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be in the water. Maybe you all do, but all is above the feet, steady right to left. It's a good day to go swimming, but. Let's not. <laughs> we already uh, went swimming is once. Pure roll there. That is, down that for is birdie a here at beautiful 16. birdie. Like you talk about to seven a clutch two putt. We are five. We are in seventh place. Two holes left here. Where's the leader? What is Hinley shooting right now? 13. 11 under on the date. Move from 200 to 13. That is how you play. Shot a 61. All right, Ryan. Tough pin location, 213 to carry the bunker, 224 back right pin. Gotta go finesse. This is a hole I think we bogeyed in the last round. Playing it safe. I'm not playing it safe today. It's so tough to play that win because that is gonna be safe, but it's short. It and happens to that long right side bunker here at 17. Let's go pick shot, full spin. Don't blast this one, Ryan. Spursion zone, y'all see that? It went left and also the lie. I forgot about the lie. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Is this straight in? It looks dead straight. Don't make a break when it's not there. Trust me. I've done it multiple times. It shows no break. Trust it. Trust your instincts. Trust your caddy books. Ooh, Don't trust Jerry's caddy books. That curls by to the left. Don't trust your instincts. I did not see that. I would have never, if anything, I would have called the uh, opposite break than that. I never saw that break. This is our second bogey, round number one, round number two on this golf hole. It's an extremely challenging par three. I always struggle with it. That one finished off for bogey here at 17. What a He's fight. Fall to six under par. Tied for 13 now. We're gonna have a, let's finish with the birdie and come out on moving day fired up. I need all of your all's hype, all the encouragement. Let's do this everybody. One times all the time. Come on, Ryan. 
What a battle this tournament has been. The last one, we had an epic finale with Jason Day. Looking for a, a battle to the end. Here on this this one is going to be as well. For the weekend and that, another good drive here. Uh, it's nice Gotta having high wins. Extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Got to go knock down. If we're sitting with 11 mile an hour wind, better do a one to one ratio. 11 miles per hour wind is going to take off about 11 yards with the knockdown shot. Play it a little bit safe because it's uphill. Let's go like 195. I'm playing safe. Which is why I added more yards to it, right? Instead of playing the strict 11. Well, had a good look at the green, 11 yards. But couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. I don't want to hit it in the water, Bogey. But we can pitch this in. We had a great putt in round number one. If you all remember that finish. That was a great putt. Can we chip this in? Pitch this in. One time. Hey, we gave it a run, right? We gave it a run. I, I knew the pitch was the greatest way to get it in the hole, but we've got to focus up on this one. This is not an easy putt. Ball is below the feet slightly. We just saw the line. It's a steady left to right. When I say steady, it's like basically straight in. One time. Get your one times ready, everybody. I need you. Mm, that's gonna scoot a broke a mile. Too by. There's no shot that ball broke that much at the beginning. Hey, it did, though. It did. I told you all that I always struggle on the greens at Bay Hill. That's a tough bogey, but... There's plenty of golf left in this tournament. We we made the cut. We'll be diving into the weekend. Playing for a shot to dive into the top 10. Maybe win this tournament. You, you've seen Ryan Gamer dominate before. And we can do it. It's just a matter of limiting the mistakes. The mistakes at Bay Hill cost you big time. And that okay, show. A shake of the head as that one is finished off. But and honestly, we played great golf. Under. So for our featured golfer, Frank, it is on to the weekend. Who knows if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number, see what happens. We played some great golf overall. Like there's, yeah, we finished with two bogeys, but it's not like those were forced errors. We, we played it safe to not hit the water, sailed it over, almost made the pitch shot coming back and then barely missed the putt. The putt broke more than expected. It wasn't a lack of focus that caused those two bogeys. Bogies are going to happen, right? Wasn't a lot of unforced errors. Tough golf holes, tough golf course, and tough conditions. Overall, that is five birdies on the day. A two under on the round, but three bogeys again. I think we had three bogeys in round number one. Maybe even a double or more. So, we have to fight. That is a three under we shot in round one, right? And then two under in round two. We are sitting in 43rd place on the leaderboard going into the weekend, which may, means we barely made the cut. Projected cut was minus three. Kelly Kraft takes the lead there, eight under on the day. Deki Matsuyama, Russell Hindley is right up there, had a round two for the ages there. 11 under the round of the day, but we are sitting tied 43rd, but we're only off 10 strokes. and. I say only because you all know how Ryan can play, but I, it's awesome having a tournament like this. Bay Hill has humbled Ryan and showed him that you got to battle, you got to fight, but we still shot under par both rounds, made a cut on a course I usually don't play well at. And here we go. I need all of your all's hype, all the encouragement heading into moving day. You all know what to do. Drop your one times. Thank you all so much for the support and watching it till the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check the full playlist in the description to see if the round three has already been posted and maybe the full series is already live. But I will see you all in the next one. If you did not know this, I have a second channel as well. If you want even more gaming content from me, subscribe to Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. But I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.